contact me at timscomputerfix.net to find out how you can ship me your laptop for repair. Hey guys, Tim here from timscomputerfix.net again. Today we're going to be showing you how to replace a keyboard on a Lenovo. This is a B590. And basically what's going on with this is uh, almost all of the keys aren't working on this. I've tested it. All the keys aren't working on this keyboard. Um, it looks as if possibly something could have been spilled in here, but uh, we'll find that out. We'll see if there's any visible signs of that, but uh, definitely the keyboard needs to be replaced. So we're going to start off by removing the battery. We'll pull our battery out like so. Really, this is quite quite simple here. You got some um, icons here showing your keyboard. There's one here for this screw. There's one here for this screw. Get the keyboard symbol there. You got a keyboard symbol here, which needs to be underneath this cover. So we'll just start off by removing this screw. And we'll remove this screw. Then we'll take off this back cover. Then we'll slide our panel forward. Like so. And then we have this other symbol for the screw for the keyboard here. So there's a screw here that comes out. And Based upon what I'm looking at here, I don't really see any more symbols for screw for our keyboards anywhere on the bottom here. So yeah, I would say that that would be it for that. And we'll flip it right back over here and we'll see if we can. here see if we can get this keyboard kind of lifted up here a little bit all right so you just want to kind of wedge tools up in here a little bit. There are some clips that are holding this keyboard down into place, which makes it a little tight. If we take our tools and you carefully pry up, there are there are little clips, a few of them that you got to kind of wedge into to get them out. But once you get those up and it's going to feel a bit tight, you'll just be able to get all your tools back up underneath there. Your keyboard will flip right out like so. Everything else looks like it's in decent shape. I'm just going to go ahead. There's a ribbon cable here. It, uh, okay, that flips up. So a ribbon cable flips up. Ribbon Our zip connector flips up. Let me just pull our keyboard out of there. Okay, so we've got our new keyboard in. I'm just going uh, to we'll open this up. Ah, nice new keyboard. Lovely. Okay, if we notice on the old keyboard here, the way that the the ribbon cable gets folded back, so we know that uh, this is going to get folded back like this. Anyway, we'll set the old one aside. Flip our keyboard. Flip our laptop back over here. I think that's got her. We'll have to test her and see, but it looks like it might have it. All right, we'll just lay this down here like so. 
just so we can give it a test to verify that uh, that we indeed uh, have it connected properly. So let's get the power adapter. Okay, we now have the power adapter plugged in. And we're going to power on here. Just the camera angle here so we can see the screen. Okay, we'll just open up a word pad here. Blank document. There we go. So, I uh, don't know if you guys know how to properly test a keyboard, or at least this is a good way to do it, to where you can test almost every key on the keyboard is do um, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. And basically what that does is uses every single letter on the keyboard. So as long as you can read the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog, you know all the letters working on the keyboard. And then of course the numbers those are all working properly. Backspace, number lock works. Those all work. Up, down, left, right. Looks good, looks good. Okay. Windows key works. Yeah, I think we're in good shape here. So we'll go ahead and shut it down. And we will proceed with uh, getting the keyboard mounted and secured. And don't save, we don't need to save that. So we'll lock this down, push everything down to the tabs. Close this up, flip it back over. And we'll get our screws put into place. We have saved here in our little baggie. All right, let's see how our screw goes in here. The screw that goes in here. And we got one more that goes right here. Okay. And while we got this open, I'm going to show you this here. I have a uh, Oops, sorry about the blurriness there. There is dust in this fan, so we're going to go ahead while we have it at this point and blow that out as a courtesy. <clears throat> Trust the uh, canned air here. I'm going to step outside and blow this computer out. back on this will be it get this put back on and the battery back in and we'll call it a job done hey guys thanks for watching this video I hope this helps somebody out and uh, we'll uh, we'll see you next time around bye now <laughs>